I realized that, that everybody had something different to say. And much of it uh, rang a bell that I had forgotten about. Some of it I don't remember, but I think it probably was true. <laughs> <laughs> and the, 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 <laughs> and that son Steve there is, is, is helping me not take this too serious. <laughs> but um, in fact, you know, I think that you know, it is a serious occasion because you know, I do want to say thank you uh, to this wonderful crowd of people because you're the ones that really have, uh, have you know, pushed me on, prodded me on made me feel uh, grateful that the ideas that you guys have provided uh, uh, have really worked and have brought some, you know, a lot of enthusiasm. Let me take one little theme. Uh, partly the theme that um, you know, I don't really feel that I deserve this kind of attention. I'm not, I'm not even comfortable with it. Uh, but, uh, I, everywhere we've lived, uh, but, uh, you know, I've been really very comfortable saying, well, and people come up to me, who are you? Well, I'm Mr. Ellie Langer. And that would be how I would really be home in those communities, because it was Ellie who was the, the public face of the family. She was the president of the Pittsburgh School Board, I think has been mentioned, uh, when the school were desegregated in Pittsburgh. Uh, she came to, to Santa Barbara. She finally lost the election when she ran for mayor. And even at the retirement community that we live in, uh, they know me as Mr. Ellie right here because she's always doing all those things. So this was, uh, you know, it was a very big comfort to me, and I thank her. Uh, for that. Uh, I, I, I thank my family for uh, being both supportive and as is obvious here, uh, you know, with the proper needles to, uh, to dig. Uh, so I thank them. But the other thing that I thought I really ought to say, and this is serious, uh, that the, the, it's been very important to me to have learned from my earliest days about enthusiasm and the, and the wonders of this profession that we have enjoyed, all of us being in theoretical physics. Uh, from the very first days when I was an undergraduate at Carnegie Tech, and I want to mention this because Walter Cohn is not with us today, uh, but I, Walter Cohn gave me a um, a reading course in quantum mechanics when I was an undergraduate. It made the difference between having to go to, to England as, a, as, an, as another undergraduate or getting started right away with Carl's as a, as, a, as a thesis student. And I remember sitting in his office and he was a little bit late and he dashed in and there was a light in his eyes and he said, Jim, I've just done the most fiendishly clever thing. And he was so glad about it. I think what it was, was his early work on impurity states in, in, in semiconductors. I'm not sure I remember that. But that enthusiasm for theoretical physics, for understanding something uh, that maybe nobody had understood before, it didn't have to be a major thing, but it was uh, the enthusiasm for, for learning and for really, uh, you know, it just gave me a sense of what this field was all about. And that's the kind of thing that uh, that's really made a great big difference. You know, I'll just have random memories spurred by things that people have said. I remember Premi coming into my office angry as hell because she got in a bed a referee's report on a physical review letter. <laughs> I think that the referee had said that she, if she consulted Jim Langer, she wouldn't have made that mistake. It wasn't a mistake. <laughs> and I insisted that, uh, that this was her thing and she should have the fun of, of uh, making a record reputation doing it. Uh, you know, these kinds of events 
Uh, luckily, they just continue. Uh, and uh, it is lucky. I, but, you know, I, I really think that we, as theoretical physicists, have, uh, uh, give ourselves the fun of inquiring into all kinds of things. That I, I, you know, I, there was what I talked about this afternoon was you know, a little bit grouchy, but, but I really think that I love the, the talks on, on the, the biological subjects that we've heard, because I think there we're beginning to probe and as we probe what we're seeing, um, and I'm trying to do a little bit of this myself, we're seeing that biology is really different. That the way things have happened, the way life has evolved on Earth, is producing a, a wonderful complexity, a mind-boggling uh, picture uh, that we're only just beginning to get uh, you know, a, a clue about. So I, you know, I, the thing that I, the message that I want to transmit is number one. You know, thank you guys for helping me, pushing me, for uh, uh, you know, beating on me, for whatever, uh, uh, for having you know all these good ideas, for working with me. Uh, but let's just <laughs> try to work to keep theoretical physics in this spirit of adventure. Uh, and uh, an open-mindedness and fun. Okay, is that it? <laughs>